There's so much to love about Maine. The people, the places, the food. And we're here to share it all with you. Each week, our team brings you the very best of vacation land. This is Maine Life. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. Waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. After many miles. On this episode, Vanessa brings us to the great North Woods, the lodge at Moosehead Lake. She's gonna be hosting one of her special chef and hospitality dinners there with the new property owners. While I am going to be recapping some of my favorite destinations from last summer, all in the spirit of staycationing during the warmer months here in Maine. <laughs> Do we have enough footage yet? <laughs> Maine continues to surprise and inspire me. After living and working in this beautiful state my entire life, I continue to discover new places and meet a lot of hardworking and interesting people. Just one of the reasons I love supporting Maine Life. Each week, it takes us all somewhere new and exciting. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank. Come into any of our locations and experience the difference. But until then, we hope you enjoy this episode of Maine Life. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, thanks for watching Maine Life. On this episode, Vanessa's gonna be taking us to a property she's encouraging us to book, stay, play, and enjoy, while I am going to be recapping some of my favorite destinations from last summer, all in the spirit of staycationing during the warmer months here in Maine. First up, Vanessa brings us to the Great North Woods, the lodge at Moosehead Lake. She's gonna be hosting one of her special chef and hospitality dinners there with the new property owners. And coincidentally, this will be the 50th event she's hosted across the state of Maine since your Maine concierge was born. A big congratulations, Vanessa. I'm sorry I can't be there in person. I'll be there, Vanessa. Johnny's on his way. V, have a drink for me. Thank you, Erin. Yes, we are thrilled to be here at the stunning Lodge at Moosehead Lake and 368 Maine to host my 50th private chef and hospitality dinner. I started this series of special dinners over five years ago, and anyone who's connected to Maine's food and hospitality universe is welcome and encouraged to join us. The purpose of the dinners is quite simple, to bring together Mainers from all across the state, to break bread and build new relationships in a laid back setting. The partnerships that have flourished, the friendships that have been made are going to be everlasting, and they've been really exciting and inspiring to behold. And I can't wait to continue this series of dinners now, tonight, and into the future. Before we go to dinner though, let's check in to our fine accommodations with innkeepers Bev and Larry Burgess, who are about to show us around. The Lodge at Moosehead Lake is a full service inn with nine suites. We have concierge services for our guests, plan everything from dining services to great adventures in the North Woods and impeccable hospitality. All of our rooms are private with private en-suites. Several of the rooms have jacuzzi tubs, private decks. All of the rooms have lake views except for one on the front of the house, which has a garden view. We serve breakfast every single morning to our guests. It's included in their lodging stay. It's cooked by our in-house chef. We serve three entrees from blueberry pancakes to eggs your way to a chef's choice every day with house-made croissants and pastries and even a mimosa if you like that. We have many packages available for our guests, including a land, lake, and air package where guests can see beautiful Moosehead Lake from an eight-hour tour with our main registered guide. They go on a seaplane ride and they can take a boat cruise across the lake. Uh, moose safaris, we have hiking, picnic lunches, boating, fishing. We can arrange it all here for our guests. After guests uh, enjoy the adventures out during the daytime, when they come back, they can enjoy dinner at 368 Main and enjoy the stunning uh, sunsets. Can't say enough about the sunsets here. Look, you can see Kenny O out here. We are thrilled to partner with Vanessa this evening for the 50th hospitality dinner. We've got a great cocktail hour planned with some past hors d'oeuvres, a wonderful six course menu this evening for our guests, some s'mores by the fire pit, and it's gonna be a great evening. Welcome everybody. This is our 50th private chef and hospitality dinner. So 
Cheers to all of you for joining us. I personally am so grateful to you all for coming and just want to express my gratitude to Bev and Larry for hosting us. We also have a couple of folks here who have been recognized by the James Beard Foundation. The team from Flux Restaurant in Lisbon Falls is here and that's very noteworthy. And then our good friend, Chef Lulu over there and Billy from Monson, the quarry in Monson. Winners of the James Beard Award for Hospitality. So thank you all so much. Let's go feast. <laughs> James Beard Award is, was an honor to be nominated, but bringing the medal is even bigger. I mean, I just like, I'm floored. I'm still pinching myself. The way I run my restaurant, we have fun. Most of my server, no experience in the restaurant business. They're high schoolers, for goodness sakes. I run my restaurant like my home, and they had fun. I forget sometimes that I'm also their boss. <laughs> So are you ready to have fun tonight and actually be taking a yes. change? Yes! I'm, I'm so excited that someone's going to cook for me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hi, my name is Chef Nigel and welcome to 368 Maine. I began my career in Williamsburg, Virginia at the Williamsburg Inn and grew a love for fine dining and food in general. My mom was a chef in the military, so that encouraged and inspired me to go and see what it was all about and I never left. So I've also been a chef in Atlanta. Hospitality is my life. I love it and I love everything about it and I love to share my food with everyone. When guests walk in the door at 368 Main, you have this lovely view of the lake and the mountains in the background, and it's just amazing. And you'll see my smiling face. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the culinary experience here is going to be seasonal, utilizing fresh ingredients from the garden, local produce, I love local, I love fresh. I love to be able to purchase things from the community. You don't have to be staying here at the lodge because we serve everyone. And we now have a la carte menu as well as a tasting menu. So there are options for everyone. So tonight we are hosting a special event for industry leaders around Maine. And I'm super excited to be the chef preparing their meal. I'm going to be featuring a classic duck consomme that's going to be served with some of our seasonal vegetables from the garden, as well as a saffron seafood risotto with a creamy seafood clam broth. And we also have a wonderful barrel cut beef filet that I am serving with a bone marrow panade and a red wine demi. And for dessert, we will be having a chocolate pate with a ruby red mousse and a strawberry sauce. And I hope everyone enjoys. I think I can speak on behalf of all of the guests tonight to thank Bev, Larry, Chef Nija, the entire team here at 368 Maine and the Lodge at Moosehead Lake. This has been an absolutely spectacular evening. The food, the wine pairings, the cocktails, the company, the setting. Thank you all so much. Cheers. Thank you all so much. Welcome back everyone. Sheltered harbors, untouched islands, local shops, restaurants, bakeries, and art galleries are all waiting to be explored on the Blue Hill Peninsula. So grab your pen, piece of paper, and follow this itinerary to enjoy a little slice of beautiful Maine life. The water feels nice. Okay. We offer week-long rentals and half-week rentals. And for folks who are here in town, but just want to go paddling for a few hours, we use Blue Hill Harbor and Walker's Pond, just like we're going to do today. Oh, this is gorgeous. Wow, I need to do this more often. Blue Hill Harbor is such a lovely, safe place for introductory paddling. It is uh, protected all the way around. There's not a lot of uh, commercial activity and it's gorgeous. When you're on the water, you'll have a beautiful view of Blue Hill Mountain and um, lovely homes along the shore, the yacht club. Pick up the pace. <laughs> okay. A lot of folks like to go out and take a picnic lunch out to the island or when they get back to go into town and, and have a lunch when they get back. You just don't see this part of Maine from the road. No, you don't. It's so beautiful. All right, here you are. 
Ladies. Oh, wow. that's beautiful. Right. Yeah. Thank you, my friend. You guys friend. enjoy. It was nice meeting you. Thank Take you. care. You're our new bestie. Thank you. <laughs> well, cheer. Strawberry soup. That's awesome. I'm not sure I could say I've ever had this before. To a great day. To a great summer. Oh my God. Wow. What is this? That's so Amazingness. <laughs> This is amazing. Do you think they have this all the time? I'm gonna tell know, people how amazing no, this is. Probably seasonal. Drive to Blue Hill for the, the strawberry, strawberry soup. soup. It's kind of like a mixture of, of things that you need, quote unquote, but then things you didn't know you needed. And so it's fun to just look around. There's a lot to see. And uh, people always say they have to take laps around to see everything that's in there. And so it's not a store that you rush through if you want to get the full experience. I definitely am trying to bring awareness and acceptance and peace and love and all of those things. And I try to have fun with everything that I buy and support businesses that are charitable and small businesses. I get asked the question all the time, where do you find this stuff? And I love the mission of seeking out really cool, fun merchandise. Welcome everybody to the Barncastle Hotel and Restaurant here in Blue Hill, Maine. The house was built in 1884. It is a national historic place. We are thrilled to be the new stewards of this property along with our doggo Leroy, who will happily greet you when you arrive. Property is stunning. I mean, like, there's nothing else that we saw like this. I mean, we, we never even had a lawn before. We've never owned so. anything before. Like, this <laughs> so is the first them. property we've ever bought. Yeah. I mean, the original plan was to run a restaurant and then retire and buy an inn, and then COVID happened. And we were like, why don't we just skip to the retirement part? <laughs> just so, do it all at once. Yeah. Hi, Amy. Hi. Oh, so right. we're starting you off with wow. Bagadoose oysters on the half shell. These are local from the Blue Hill Salt Pond. Oh. Sake mignonette, mm. which we make here. Mm. Tastes like the coast of Maine. Oh, wow. And for your main course, wow. we have a Berkshire pork tenderloin with a cognac morel reduction. This is our scallop and lobster pappardelle and that is our local halibut from the Penobscot Bay. Wow. Here's to celebrating the bounty of Blue Hill and all of the people who make this community so special. Here, here. Cheers. Cheers. The Honda Civic is designed to move you. In fact, Car and Driver has called the Civic more fun to drive than top competitors because in their performance testing, the Civic came out ahead with more power and sharper handling than its rivals. The Honda Civic, built for all kinds of fun. Contact your Honda dealer today or shop online. You've worked hard to find the car of your dreams, so let us take care of the road ahead. At Berlin City, every used car comes standard with one year of complimentary maintenance. That means more adventures, more places to explore, and more worry-free memories. And if you don't love your new car, just bring it back with our four-day, no questions asked return. Because wherever your dreams may lead you, you can plan for peace of mind for miles down the road. Berlin City, where life is easier. Hey everyone, Chef Doreen here to show you how to make your life easier in the kitchen. Here's this week's Hannaford hack. When preparing meat to freeze, go ahead and add your favorite marinade. Not only does it help the flavor get into the meat, but it will protect it from freezer burn as well. It also takes a step out of your prep later as the meat is already marinated when you thaw and cook it. One tip around freezer bags is I like to fold the edge down to keep my seal nice and clean. Taste of Inspiration's line is one of my favorite marinades to add and I love our ginger teriyaki. and don't forget to label and date it. For more tips and inspiration, please visit us at Hannaford.com. Happy cooking.
Hi, I'm Charlene Hamuka, president of Harcourt's Waterfront and Vine Properties. When it comes to Maine real estate, Harcourt's is with you all the way. I have a team of agents around the state who are ready to answer any and all questions you may have about what it takes to buy or sell a home in Maine. And they can tell you what it's actually like to live here year round. We look forward to working with you soon. Now we head a little inland, taking advantage of an opportunity that is good for the soul. Walking with alpacas, enjoying all that Northern Solstice Alpaca Farm has to offer. Bring a bagged lunch and have a picnic out on their beautiful lawn before heading into their shop. I went last fall, but these fellas and ladies are ready to greet you year round. Today we are going into our 20th year of raising alpacas. And of course, because of that, selling beautiful alpaca clothing. Come on, girls. Come on, ladies. Everybody's gonna get some. Oh my goodness. We know them all by name. We, in fact, have birthed most of the ones that are here now. We're on fourth generation from our original herd. They're living the dream. This is alpaca spa. I mean, it doesn't get better than this if you're an alpaca. <laughs> One of the things that we do offer here at the farm, and especially in the nice weather, is we get to walk an alpaca. And I thought maybe we have a boy named Ludacris that you might like to take for a walk. Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. We have folks that come here as a part of their therapy. This is like my weekly, come here, I have a stressful job. I come and sit and relax with these beautiful animals and it brings me, you know, comfort. We get to watch visitors come here and they're transformed when people who have autism come and are very relaxed and calm or people with Alzheimer's whose memories seem to come flowing back and you get to see the joy it brings people. There's no better job in the world. I mean, we have the best job. All right, all you couch potatoes, if relaxing on the couch is more your speed, why not try couch tubing with Sun Sports and enjoy a little bit or a lot of lake life in Naples? We're going to start up. If you want to go faster, you give me the thumbs up. Slower, you give me the thumbs down. If you get really scared and want to get off the tube, give me the cut it. <laughs> And uh, if you get really scared and I'm not listening to your signals, just jump off and then I'll stop. <laughs> Ready to hop on? Oh, yes, sure. let's yeah. do it. Is there a TV that comes up so we can watch television? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Okay. Are we gonna go fast? <laughs> oh, I'm, having, I'm having a little anxiety. Rock and roll! <laughs> Exhilarating. I don't know about all of you, but in my house, I love all things lavender. Soap, lotion, candles, even linen spray. I love the way it smells and I love the way it makes me feel. Well, how about how it tastes? Today we are channeling Erin's love for lavender with this floral inspired cocktail. The Main Spirits app has so many different versions of a margarita, so how about a lavender margarita? I've never met a margarita I didn't like. Here's how we made it. This calls for two ounces of tequila, one ounce lime juice, and half an ounce of Contro and lavender simple syrup. You can either buy your own lavender simple syrup or head to the Main Spirits app to learn how to make your own at home. Give it a nice shake and pour over ice. So we chose a sugar over salt rim. And because every margarita needs a lime, no matter the kind, excited to try. 
Cheers. Smells like lavender and tequila. <laughs> My two favorite things. The Skudik Peninsula is the only part of Acadia National Park found on the mainland and is home to the Skudik Institute, incredible views, trails, and several villages offering delicious food, entertaining locals, and a down-to-earth vibe. It was my first visit and for sure will not be my last. Hi, Peter. Hi, nice to meet you. So good to finally yes. meet you. Wow, they weren't kidding. You do have a little bit of everything. Yes, we have the store of three wonders. You wonder if I have it. I wonder if I have it. We all wonder how I find it in here. <laughs> I can't wait to learn more. Yeah. Welcome to Winter Harbor, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> you just love collecting awesome, fun stuff? Yes, I mean, I go to shows all over the country. We go to Tennessee. We go to Vegas to find products for the store. And of course, the main product gift show down in Portland, we try and keep as many New England products as we can. Our motto is everything from A to Z, aspirin to zippers. So Scudic Institute is the nonprofit science and education partner here in Acadia National Park. Our focus is really understanding environmental change happening here in Acadia and beyond, and then engaging learners of all ages in the science and solutions. We have you know, around 600 middle school students from Maine every year come for the Scudic Education Adventure Program, which is a three-day, two-night program where school classes come here to campus and they get to learn in the outdoors, hands-on, you know, immersive uh, uh, opportunities to be in the intertidal zone, to be in the forest. They get to learn about using a map and compass and doing photojournalism. For some of them, it may be their first time spending nights away from home. And so trying to create these opportunities for, for every student in Maine is, is part of our mission and, and our goal here. We've got a gallery that is actually a shared collaborative gallery between the Bells, which are my dad's designs and I'm involved with. I'm also a woodworker, so I have some custom pieces here. We have a foundry building where people can come and actually watch the casting process through the summer. It's just a, a nice way to live your life. Being able to make art in a place like this is really what, what it's all about. Welcome to the gallery. My name is Troy Lorenz. And I'm Marin Lorenz. This is our spot here in beautiful Winter Harbor, Maine. Let's get you a cocktail. I've had a lot of bar experience. I've never had a chance to do anything on our own like this. We're bringing new creative cocktail ideas to an area that maybe hasn't seen things like this before. You know, fresh ingredients, outside the box, recipes, and just kind of fun. You know, we like to have fun with making drinks and cooking food. Cheers. Yeah. Welcome to the Pickled Wrinkle. We're so glad to have you here on Skiddick Peninsula. A Pickled Wrinkle is a carnivorous sea snail. It's a byproduct of lobster fishing. They're not commercially fished for themselves. They get in lobster fishermen's traps after the bait. They're a local delicacy, we like to call them. Good snack, goes well with beer or anything you happen to be drinking. Works up a nice thirst. And we offer them here, one of the only places you're probably ever gonna see them. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Main Life. To follow all of our amazing adventures, you can check out our Instagram, Main Life TV, or at Arno Valley, our Facebook page, Main Life Media. You can get all of our shows for free on YouTube and the New Center Main app. And become a Main Life member. Sign up by going to our website, mainlifemedia.com, for exclusive content, some great deals, and so much more. Happy adventuring, everybody. We'll see you next week. On this episode, Vanessa's gonna bring. Uh, thank you, Aaron. Yes, how excited am I? Uh, yeah, no. Nope. All right, you coach. <laughs> I can't I started this special. <laughs> well, why not try couch potato? <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking at me. Stop staring at me. <laughs>